today I'm going to do the same thing as in the last video where I did syscalls on Linux x86 64 but now I'm going to do it on Mac OS so if you remember I first had printf hello world which I translated to low level command write uh, and then translated this into a syscall syswrite and uh, if you look at the manual page for write the first argument is the file descriptor, second argument is the string and third argument is the length of the string well, this man page was a little bit strange so first call this is call write and it prints hello world to file descriptor 1 which is standard output and then exit with the exit code 0 and 0 is the code for success so it works and on OS X uh, they don't have obudump to disassemble but they have another tool called otool so let's call otool the TV argument for disassembly and here's the main function which we wrote if you remember on Linux uh, there was a lot of stuff from the C library in here on Mac OS it's not as much it's only this which sets things up and then calls main and here's main and when main finishes it returns so it comes back here to start which then calls exit so it's a bit more minimal here than uh, on Linux there was a lot of stuff performed around the main function first set up the stack push the argument for is the syscall number for syswrite which is here in syscall.h one is the file descriptor e hex that's 14 in decimal that's length and then the string is set up by this strange lia q function it's not so easy to understand but it puts the address of the hello world string into register di r in before the di means that it's 64 bits e before the register name means 32 bits and this means that you put the current address plus 73 hex that's the address of, uh, of the beginning of the string and it's actually the address after so it's this address ee1 plus 73 anyway to see what it links against on Linux it's LDD but here on OS X it's otool dash big L so it links against this libsystem.b and dy lib is I think it's the Mac OS version of the shared object libraries on Linux so and DLL on Windows uh, every platform has its own version of the shared libraries so uh, if I on Linux I compile this static I added static but that's not possible here because uh, this version of GCC is modified by Apple and they didn't include everything that is needed to do a static compilation so this CRT0 here contains the start code which I showed in the disassembly and other things and it is not included so we can't see it but we know that it links against this so I can try to disassemble this one instead uh, tool TV was for disassembly so it does a lot of stuff and it's symbol stub so this in turn links uh, calls functions from other libraries we can see which ones with L so there's a lot of libraries here and let's look at someone looks interesting this one looks interesting kernel something should happen things in there I think what is it lib system kernel and I have to put this through less because I think it's going to be much uh, so I can just search for some syscall see yep so what is this it doesn't look right search for right here here is right so as you, if you open this syscall.h 
syscall.h. You can see that the syswrite is 4 down here. But this code has 2 and then a lot of zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6. It's 2 and 6 zeros plus 4. Or it looks like it's masked in with an OR mask. So I googled a bit to see what this means and I found this explanation. This two comes here from the class of system calls. And this is the two is syscall class unix. And it's shifted left 24 bits and each hex character is 4 bits. So 24 divided by 4 is 6. So it's if you start with a 2 here and then shift 6 steps to the left, hex 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's correct. Let's generate some assembly code. Dash S. Now this syscall hello.s has been created. Here it is. In the this is first assembly start function called underscore main here on OSX. So we don't want main, we want start. Let's start with replacing that. Uh, query replace underscore main with start. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And then I'm going to do everything before trying to compile it. We don't use the stack, so we don't need anything here. I can remove all that. I don't know what this instruction does, but I don't think we need it. As a syscall, and add some comments. Write, uh, file script to one, and then a string hello, uh, which is 14 bytes long. Uh, let's just do it. Two, instead of four, it should be a two, and one, two, three, four, five zeros into EAX. And remember, the order was DC dex. So this first argument, one, should go into DI. Second argument, string, should go into SI. I can put it in order. File scripter, string, 14, DC dx. It should go into dx, and it is in dx, so that is already the correct register here. DC dex, yeah, and this is called an EAX. And we don't need this, we don't need that, we don't need that. Let's <laughs> remove it and call, don't call anything, just perform the syscall like that. And we don't need to call this l underscore dot string, just call it hello. Search for this here, hello, and go back up here. Instead of move one, we should move two and then five zeros and one to AX. I don't know what this does. The first argument was DI. XORing a register against itself produces zero. So it same thing as moving zero into the register. And do the syscall. Because we didn't do anything to the stack in the beginning, we don't have to do anything to the stack in the end either. That's the end of it. I can remove the, this too. And I think I can remove this whole section. I don't know what it does, but it's something that the compiler had it. But I think we don't need this section. Like, so I try to remove it, see what happens. Now it's pretty small. Is this exit? Yeah, exit zero. But what's the number for exit? Let's go back into syscall.h exit is 1 so this should be 1 at the end like that let's try it gcc dot c to stop after the creation of the object file and this is called the object file like this and the input file dot s mm, that worked and now try to link it didn't work because because something was not replaced. Ah, here. I didn't replace this. Start. Okay, now let's try again. 
GCC and link. Hmm. Ah, it should be 0x. Zero 0x zero for hex. 0x. Okay, now it should work. Let's try again. Hmm, it's just one warning. I didn't specify the minimal version. 10.7 is Lion, so it will only work on Lion and up. Let's run it. Yup, it works. Now let's utool it. TV. Pretty small. The now the main function is gone. It's only start function, and the start function only calls two syscall. This for write and this for exit zero. So that's basically it. Uh, let's just do a calculation here. 1FCA, no, 1FD1 here, plus 11. That should be the address of this hello string. Bring up the calculator. 1FD1 plus 11. 1FE2. So. There was that one. One FE2, yeah, that's correct. So the calculation here worked. Okay, that's how you do the same thing in OSX.